What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here, and as you can see we have yet another Turtle Beach headset review. So, I like to do these reviews in two parts. The first part will be the unboxing, and the second part will be a full review. I'll also do right at the very end a microphone test so you guys can hear the actual quality of the microphone. So, without further ado, let's jump in and unbox this sucker. So I got my knife here, let's uh, open this sucker up. I was actually really surprised that Turtle Beach is kind of doing a whole new line of headsets, uh, especially specifically for the Xbox One. The X07 and the X04 were relatively new, and I thought that was just gonna be Turtle Beach's lineup for a while. Uh, so I was surprised to see the X01 come out. Uh, I do think this might have a Turtle Beach proprietary headset adapter, and I think that may be why they've decided to, I'm having a real hard time getting into this sucker. There we go. That may be why they have decided to uh, announce and release the X01. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get rid of the box here. And as you can see, we've got a fairly standard Turtle Beach headset. Let's get this cover off. This might be a little bit loud. All right, so we were correct. This is a proprietary uh, Turtle Beach uh, made headset adapter. It looks a little bit different than the standard Xbox uh, headset adapter. And honestly, it's got kind of like a rubberized grip on it and uh, it's a little bit nicer, I'll be honest with you. So let's move that to the side here and actually look at the headset itself. We got a bunch of cables here. Let's get rid of these cables. All right, and the microphone. So let's just move that aside for now. And uh, plug in, where do we plug in the, uh, there it is. So this guy goes right in here, probably. All right, it's a small headset. The ear cups are pretty small, uh, but they do some very soft. So um, my guess is that these are gonna sit on top of your ears, uh, but they seem pretty soft, so hopefully they'll be comfortable. There's a rubberized material at the top here um, that is pretty thin, but has a lot of padding to it. Let's see how much does the headset actually expand. It seems to be pretty big. Uh, the mic is fully adjustable. This seems to be the new kind of standard Turtle Beach mic. I'll do a mic review at the end of this so you guys can hear that. They do fold flat for travel or if you like having them sit on your neck. Let's take off this plastic so you guys can get a look. They're much smaller ear cup than what I'm used to seeing from headsets. Something more... Uh, more like you might see on a portable headset, except thicker. Let's get that off. They're not a bad looking headset. They're not as uh, garish as what you normally see from Turtle Beach. There's no green, there's no blue. It's just a black headset. There's green on the ear, inner ear cup there. So that's about it. It's a nice lightweight headset. It's stereo. Uh, so the next segment of this video, I'll uh, actually review them. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm ready to share with you my review of the X01 headset for the Xbox One. And uh, I gotta say, once again, Turtle Beach has impressed me. This is two headsets in a row that have been very happy with Turtle Beach. Now, this is a much cheaper headset. It's an $80 headset. It also includes Turtle Beach's Xbox One headset adapter, which I really liked. Uh, let's start with the comfort of the headset. I think that is one of the most important things to consider with a headset. If it's not comfortable, you're not going to want to use it because it hurts your head. Uh, so I thought this was fairly comfortable, actually very comfortable, considering it's an on-ear style headset. What I mean by that is that the ear cups are small and they sit on top of your ears. There's no way to get your ears like completely inside of that void in there. Uh, I prefer normally ear cups that sit over your ear. So there's no actual part of the ear cup touching your ear. It's all, all the pressure is on your head. With on-ear, they tend to kind of wear out my ears a little bit and I tend to get a little bit of a hot spot on both sides. That being said, considering that I do prefer over the ear, I found these to be very comfortable. Uh, it's a nice soft foam and there's not a whole lot of clamping pressure. Uh, so they were very comfortable. I wore them for about two and a half hours. After about an hour and a half, I started noticing that they were getting a little bit sore and after about two and a half hours, I was definitely ready to take them off. But that's a long time for an on-ear headset 
for me. I have t kind of sensitive ears. Uh, there's plenty of padding on the top of the headband here. It's a nice squishy rubber uh, kind of foam that's covered in kind of a flexible rubberish material. Uh, it was really comfortable. I was a little concerned that because that is so thin, uh, it may create a hot, stop, stop, hot spot on the top of my head. Uh, but it didn't. It was very comfortable overall, and I was happy with that. So I'm going to give this headset pretty high marks for being comfortable. I do prefer over-the-ear style headsets, as I said, but this was a pretty comfortable one considering it's an on-the-ear style headset. Also, the mic is very adjustable. You can pretty much get that anywhere you want. Turtle Beach always gets high marks for, for their mics, and this is no different. I really thought that was a great thing. Uh, so next, I want to talk about the sound quality. And I have two different opinions about the sound quality. I, I played mostly Call of Duty with this, uh, and I thought the sound quality was pretty good for video games. It's very bass heavy, uh, but that just brings out kind of gunshots and explosions. It just makes them seem more bombastic and more fun. So that didn't bother me at all. Uh, you also have, let me show you the, uh, the adapter here. Let me plug it into a controller so you can actually see it light up. They also have a sound mode setting by hitting this little green button. There's three settings. This is bass boost off, uh, bass boost level one, and bass boost level two. So, you know, it got more bassy the more you used it, uh, and that sounded fine for video games. For music, I didn't like it at all for music. Uh, rap, even rock, any kind of music, the bass was super heavy, and the bass and the, the treble in the mid range really suffered. Uh, it just didn't sound great for music. So if you're planning on buying one headset that you're going to listen to music and play games with, this might not be your guy. But if you're just looking for a game headset, this this is a pretty good option. So the mic quality I thought was pretty good. At the very end of this video, during the outro, I'll let you guys hear a mic test. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Turtle Beach usually has pretty good mics, and this is no different. So I thought it was pretty damn good. Uh, the quality of the headset overall, I think this is a cheap headset. You know, it's an $80 headset. It also comes with the adapter that you need to actually use it with your Xbox One controller. Uh, while I don't think it's an excellent value, I think for $80, you know, it's about what you'd expect. It's adjustable, the ear cups kind of flip over so you, they can sit flat. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any parts that are sticking out as very breakable. Uh, it's completely made out of plastic. It feels like it's completely made out of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap, if that makes sense. So... The last thing I want to talk about is this uh, chat adapter. I really did like this chat adapter. I think it's a much better option than the standard Xbox One chat adapter with one exception. So uh, it, you can see on the, uh, on the chat adapter here, this is kind of like rubberized buttons. It's very, very easy to figure out what they do, unlike the standard Xbox One headset adapter. Uh, and I really like it. This one controls your game sound. This one controls your volume overall. Uh, there's a down and an up, but there's a down and up here. Very, very easy to figure out. Very, very easy to use. I already showed you the bass boost button, and this one just mutes your mic. Uh, I like that it lights up red so that you can say, yes, definitely my mic is muted. So if you're asking for a sandwich, nobody has to hear that. Okay, so I really actually like that. With one exception I mentioned earlier, if you can see this, this is going to be a little bit hard to mic... Uh, make out on this video this side here is the standard xbox controller and you see this little tab on the back is much much thinner than this one uh, and that created one problem let me see if can i there we go you can kind of see that this one is much thinner right there than on this side and that created a problem with my scuff so I could not use this Turtle Beach adapter with my scuff because it interfered with these inner two paddles. This is only going to apply to a small you know, number of people, but I figured it was worth mentioning because I did notice it. Uh, because that's a little bit thicker, it interfered with the paddles, so I couldn't use this with my scuff controller. Now, if you only have two paddles on the outside, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, and if you don't have a scuff controller, then again, it's not going to be an issue, but I did want to mention it just in case. Uh, so overall... I think this is a nice headset. Uh, I believe this is going to be replace the X04 uh, that I previously reviewed earlier this year. I think this is a better headset than the X04. Uh, I like it better. I think it's more comfortable. It's not as uh, ugly. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a nicer headset overall. It's even cheaper. I think the X04 for a while was going for $80. I think the price on that has gone back up. But I, I was checking on Amazon and it seems like it's getting harder to find. Like uh, Turtle Beach probably discontinued it in favor of the X01. 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with this headset. I think it's a good headset. It sounds good for video games, not so much for uh, music. The microphone is great. Uh, your friends will definitely be able to understand what you're saying. I think it's a great headset. I also really, really like the new chat adapter that Turtle Beach made specifically for the Xbox One controller. I think it's a much better option than the standard Xbox One uh, headset adapter because I never really understood what all these buttons do anyway, uh, and they're not really documented that well. So I'm, I'm really actually happier with the chat adapter than anything. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to wait for the outro, and I'll share with you guys the mic test. Thanks. Bye. This is a test of the sound quality of the Turtle Beach XO1 microphone.